Hi everybody, this is week three and four of report writing and as always it's uh, approximately 20 minutes per day and um, at this stage the children will have discovered the framework and they will be aware of the vocabulary and so the framework can be personalised now and put into the children's free writing. Each child can put the framework into his or her, her free writing copy. Okay, so week three in gradual race model is modelled and shared. Week four is modelled and guided. So modelled is thinking aloud and shared is the collaborative writing of a piece that the teacher and class work on together. So, for modelled, teachers thinking aloud, teachers are modelling a standard of language that's, that's higher than where the children are at. And similarly, um, when a piece is being written together in the shared writing part of the day, again, the standard of language is higher than what a child might be able to write because teacher holds the pen and the class is working together to come up with ideas and um ideas and um, sp the words are spelled for the children so the standard is usually higher than what children could write themselves. Okay, um, at this stage a teacher can model how to uh, put a text together, a report together and how to revise or edit a text. So, um, for example, if one is writing a report, one needs to put notes together first. Um, research may need to be done. So on Monday, teacher could model how to put the notes together based on a piece that has been read or watched on, uh, on, on screen. Then on the second day, teacher can show how these notes can be used to put a report together. Um, as the children are older, there might be headings, there might be paragraphs and so on. And then on day three, teacher can model how to, to edit the piece that was written the previous day. Um, it's important that children see that the draft can be written first and written completely written before worrying about editing. Let the ideas flow, write everything one can. And then maybe the next day or later on in the day, teacher's thinking, hmm, I wonder what changed. I'm not very happy with some of what I wrote. I would like to edit it. Um, and now, depending on your class, if you have infants, editing can happen at the end and it wouldn't take long because it might be just to read back what was written and it might be just that a word was omitted. So that could be done all, that could be done immediately after the piece has been written. While as, as the children get older, there's more um, editing involved and it's a progression of steps so I'll just run through them. So the first stage would be is there any word missing? Is there an important fact missing? And then um, as the children are learning maybe there's an event missing. Maybe the beginning, middle and end isn't laid out properly. So that's something to look out for. Now the next stage then would be let's check for spelling and punctuation and capital letters. And also overused words. So saying the same noun over and over again instead of a pronoun, for example. Then, having achieved all that, the next stage would be, as your children are getting older again and more able, let's look at the descriptions. Um, the descriptions, like has the appearance of the um, animal or plant, let's say, uh, been described correctly has each um, paragraph a main idea? Is it is it uh, clear? Are the spelling and grammar, like so spelling and grammar continued? For example, now you're looking at apostrophes, contractions, etc. So you can see that there's a kind of an increase in complexity uh, when it comes to editing as you're going along. Okay, now, um, so the shared writing, as I said, is collaborative. We're still on week three. When you're sharing um, the work, uh, the ideas, the teacher holds the pen. The teacher is modeling how to write the notes or how to write the report or how to edit. The teacher draws, um, the children might have um, 
so yeah, you're referring to the framework, you're referring to the living chart. Um, that's week three. Now for week four, you're modeling again, but this time it's guided writing. So the child holds the pen. So now you are conducting mini lessons. You know which groups need a little bit more support. And so you're differentiating at this stage. Um, children are not working independently yet, so they can work in pairs. You might give them the framework, a blank template to be filled in. You might, um, depending on their age and their ability, you might write a few sentences and um, sentence starters, for example. You might, um, you keep referring to the framework. You might give them extra supports like word maps, word displayed. Um, the notes might be, some notes might be given and then they can create the report based on the research notes. Um, Again, at this stage, the guided writing stage, you might give them a piece that needs to be edited, a, a report that it has facts missing or there's errors and they have to edit it. Uh, edit it. Um, at this stage on week four, this is the guided writing stage. Infants will not be will still be on the shared writing stage. So the junior infants will continue to receive modeling from teacher and will be at the shared writing stage and there'll be still lots of oral language activities at this stage for infants in junior infants and junior infants can start labeling uh, labeling animals toys food homes there are some examples of topics that junior infants could work on senior infants will be doing all of those things and senior infants at this stage could begin to write a sentence or two or three depending on their stage of development and depending on the stage of the year um, they might be able to use the framework or sentence starters um, so there's lots of repetition so children are able to read the words before they write them and uh, that it's familiar to them so there will be a lot of supports in there for junior and senior infants because they're still at the shared writing stage at this stage now at the end of week four what we would uh, request from you to put on the share drive would be a video of yourself um, modeling a lesson. This is something that you've pre-recorded and then that you can show the class um, where you are thinking aloud and using vocabulary that's higher than where the children are at um, or else a photo of the lesson that you've modeled. Uh, that's the first thing. And the second thing then is a sample of a piece of work that the children have worked on together in the guided uh, writing phase. Okay, so I hope that was of help to you all. And um, another, sorry, another idea uh, for editing is um, an, a nice phrase I heard, I read, a sentence doctor, being a sentence doctor coming along and uh, editing a sentence. And also there's websites, for example, Twinkle have a lot of supports there about editing. Okay, so I hope that was useful. Take care. Thank you. Bye.